Part 1, Interview. Question, what is your name? Answer, my name is Sam Austin. Question, do you work or study? Answer, I am currently studying at university, where I am pursuing a degree in computer science. Question, how do you get to work? Answer, since I am a student, I walk to my university because it is within a short distance from my home. When I need to go to my part-time job, I usually take the bus. Question, do you use public transport? Answer, yes, I regularly use public transport, including buses and the subway, to get around the city. Question, are you currently using public transport more than before? Answer, yes, I am using public transport more frequently now than before because my classes and part-time job are located further from my home this year. Question, what is your reason for using public transport? Answer, I use public transport because it is convenient and cost-effective. It helps me avoid the hassle of finding parking and is also more environmentally friendly compared to driving a car. Question, have you ever found using public transport inconvenient? Answer, yes, there have been times when using public transport was inconvenient, particularly during peak hours when buses and trains are overcrowded or when there are unexpected delays and cancellations. Question, do you feel that the price of public transportation in your country is fair? Answer, in general, I think the price of public transportation in my country is fair, but it could be more affordable, especially for students, seniors, and low-income individuals. Question, how could public transport be improved in your city or town? Answer, public transport in my city could be improved by increasing the frequency of buses and trains, especially during peak hours, expanding the network to cover more areas, improving the punctuality and reliability of services, and enhancing the overall cleanliness and safety of the vehicles and stations. Additionally, introducing more discounted fare options for students and low-income passengers would make it more accessible. Q Card Gift Part 2 Talk about a time when you received money as a gift from a family member. You should say, when you received the gift, why you receive it, what you did with the money, and explain how you felt about receiving money as a gift. A time when I received money as a gift from a family member was during the last holiday season, in December of last year. My uncle gave me the money as a holiday gift. He knew that I had been working hard all year and thought I could use some time to relax and have fun. I decided to use the money to take a short weekend trip with some of my friends. We went to a nearby city that we had always wanted to explore. The money covered our travel expenses and accommodation, allowing us to enjoy a wonderful and memorable trip without worrying about the cost. We visited local attractions, tried new foods, and had an amazing time bonding and creating lasting memories. Receiving money as a gift made me feel very excited and grateful. It was a thoughtful gesture from my uncle, recognizing my need for a break and some enjoyment. The trip created lasting memories with my friends and gave me a much-needed escape from my routine. It also made me feel valued, knowing that my uncle cared about my well-being and wanted me to have a great experience. Overall, it was the perfect gift that provided both relaxation and adventure, making the holiday season truly special. Discussion Part 3 Part 3 Discussion Question, is gifting money commonly done in your country? Answer, yes, gifting money is quite common in my country, especially during special occasions like birthdays, weddings, and festivals. Question, does money make a good gift? Why or why not? Answer, money can make a good gift because it allows the recipient to choose what they need or want. It is practical and can be very useful, especially for students or young adults. Question, what are some other gifts that people can give instead of money? Answer, other gifts people can give include books, clothing, gadgets, gift cards, and personalized items like photo albums or handmade crafts. Question. In what situations do you think it is inappropriate to give money as a gift? Answer. It might be inappropriate to give money as a gift in situations where the gesture might seem impersonal or if it could be perceived as a lack of effort or thoughtfulness, such as in a romantic relationship or to close friends. Question. Do you support gifting money to children? Why or why not? 
Answer, yes, I support gifting money to children because it can teach them about saving and financial responsibility. However, it is important to ensure they understand the value of money and do not become materialistic. Question, do you think children should get paid for doing chores? Why or why not? Answer, I think children should not get paid for doing regular chores because it is important for them to learn that contributing to household responsibilities is a part of family life. However, paying them for extra tasks can teach them the value of hard work and earning money.